Hello my fellow fishing freaks. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the MTB Pro Box August Edition. They are supporters of this channel so make sure after you get done watching this action go check out the uh, the folks over at MTB. But I'm excited about the August box. My birthday is in August so they better have stepped up their game and made this a special one. So let's see what we got in here. Give the old smell test first. I don't smell any heavy garlic or anything, so I don't think there's gonna be any uh, nasty smelling plastics in here. All right, here we go. Got some good stuff in here right off the bat. I go ahead and dig into our paperwork. Always get the sticker, always get the scratch off. Uh, and your little newsletter with the dibbles. You got your, uh, your KVD on there. And let's look and see what's inside. All right, so we got six baits this month actually. And wow, there is a redemption spinnerbait in here from Lucky Craft. So I guess we'll get into that one first because that one is $14.99. I would not normally spend $14.99 on a spinnerbait. Um, the detail and the quality of the spinnerbait is very good coming from Japan. This looks like it is a quarter ouncer and it's a tandem, um, very realistic looking. That's the nice thing about Lucky Craft and a lot of the uh, baits that come out of Japan. You just check that out. It's got a large head design, but it's not filled with lead. It's like, it's hollow. You're going to be able to slow this bait down. This is kind of like a, I guess it could be a bluegill or a shad. Interesting color, but the thing I like about it is this tandem setup. I love tandem uh, Colorado willows because I feel like it represents a uh, shad thump very well. Um, I've always had great success with that setup, so this is good. As you would expect, the hook is extremely sharp. Um, just has a really lifelike appeal to it. Uh, I would expect a, a spinnerbait of this caliber to have a um, hand tied or maybe a wire skirt, but uh, it's got a nice notch in there, which is good. So if you did want to replace the skirt, you can totally do that. Um, and that notch is really good because if you have a spinnerbait and a tackle box for like a year, um, and it doesn't have that good notch in there, it can just fly off when you're fishing it, you know, if that band gets loose. So this way you can replace it if you want to, um, but I still prefer the hand ties. You also do not have a, uh, a little uh, plastic keeper on the spinnerbait, so you're just gonna be threading on, um, you know, it might slide down a little bit, but the nice thing is if you're fishing this in really clear water, you probably don't even want a trailer on it anyway. This is where I would fish this spinnerbait. It's like clear water conditions, finesse conditions. This is a quarter ounce, so you can throw it in real shallow water. Great for fishing around docks and, and uh, any subsurface kind of situation, fishing it over grass, but just a phenomenal looking uh, spinnerbait. That head design is, is on point. Tungsten, okay, so it has tungsten components in it. That's, what, that's what's making this spinnerbait $14.99 is those tungsten components. That's what allows them to get away with making it so compact uh, and small, but still giving it a quarter ounce weight. So pretty cool spinnerbait right here. Uh, excellent. Uh, anything from Lucky Craft is going to be high quality, so that's always good. All right, next up in here, we got the Arashi Flat. That's by Storm, and it's a, that's an $8.99 crankbait. So again premium uh, quality crankbait. Get this sucker out of the out of the package here and look at it. This is a flat sided crankbait. I love that color right there. A flat sided crankbait is really good for finesse type situations. If you're fishing clear water or uh, cold water where you just need less vibration, this is really good. The other thing that's nice about this is it has a computer board chip uh, lip on it. So that is a great way to get great action and then not have to really tune your crankbaits. It just stays like that. It's really solid. Um, anytime you have a computer board lip, usually the crankbait's pretty expensive. This one's, you know, pretty good, pretty decent price for what it is. Uh, this little, the split ring right here and the line tie, it, it shifts like it is, is open. And I think that is part of their self-tuning line ties, what they call it. So you see that that uh, that little brace right there. That's where the, the it goes into the body of the bait, and then your split ring is on top of that. 
and then apparently that helps keep the bait in line. I've, I've never used this bait. We're going to try it out, but um, love the color, love the, uh, the body design. Rattles are pretty loud, you know. If I'm using a, a, a crankbait like this that's flat, normally I like a little less rattles, um, but it makes it a good all-around bait. Hooks are extremely sharp. Uh, this probably dives around eight feet, I would assume. Uh, I'm just gonna guess looking at the lip. And all the componentry looks really good on this Arashi, so um, it's gonna be a good crankbait. Good, good, awesome color, I love that. Okay, up next we got the Rapala DT Flap, another solid crankbait in the box. This is awesome. I've used these in the past. I like these DT flats. You know, any crankbait you get from Rapala is usually on point. Uh, sweet color right here. This is an amazing color for fishing in dirty water, square bill action, throwing it around lay downs, uh, shallow rocks, things like that. Uh, a lot of the weight on this thing is, is up front and it's got a short bill on here, square bill, to deflect off cover, but it dives down to around, around three feet, as you would expect from Rapala. Very little tuning necessary to get this thing on point. They almost all come tuned out of the box and extremely sharp hooks. So this is just a great little square bill right here. This is gonna be a, a killer early spring bait, but you could also use this in the fall, around the lay downs, usually around end of August, September, um, fish start getting around shallow wood. I like to use baits like this. So another awesome crankbait in the box. Thank you, MTB. All right, let's get into some plastics right here. The El Grande Lures Gila Monster. Not the Gila Monster, the Gila Monster. Wow, you must know that I'm from Texas because this is something that we like to throw down here where we got big old salamanders in our waters. Um, I fish baits like this in the early spring on lakes like Lake Fork, Toledo Bend, uh, Falcon, some of those those lakes that have big bass that kind of demand big baits in the spring like this. Helps separate you know those small fish, small bites from the big bites. You've got a lot of fish in the area. It's got a nice anise smell to it and that thing just looks like a giant salamander you could even put this on like a big a magnum shaky head um, or a football you know a football head stand up head shake that around on the bottom when i look at this i'm thinking big bass you know i'm throwing this around heavy heavy uh you know standing timber stuff like that dragging it through brush piles this is a big bass catcher right here but texas rig shaky head that's probably about what i would do with that giant guy right there. Look at that sucker. Whew. Crazy. The El Grande Lures match the hatch. All right, another plastic in the box. This is the C-Spin Bruco, I guess is how you say it. This, uh, it's got like a gecko on it, kind of like the Geico gecko, but it's, it's called the Bruco. This little guy, it says shrimp scented too. Oh, God, that smells pungent, folks. This is a this is a unique little bait. It's kind of like a mixture of a finesse worm and a cinco. Um, when I look at this bait, I'm thinking finesse fishing, drop shot, rig this thing in the middle, wacky style. Uh, you could even put a little uh, nail weight in the front, kind of get it get it to uh, do a little dive technique. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with this. There's a squirrel. Guys, there's a squirrel here. He's coming to check this thing out, apparently. He thinks uh, the shrimp scent in this thing is so crazy that I've got squirrels coming up to me right now. <sighs> okay. Yeah, basically on this on this bait, I would I would throw this on a uh, on like a wacky rig, most likely, uh, or just a, like a, a little shaky head or something like that. Uh, this white color is great for uh, pitching around uh, boat docks and floating marinas and and anywhere you've got shad um, fish are feeding at the surface you can twitch it at the surface on a uh, weightless Texas style if you wanted to it's kind of a cool bait uh, it's it's like a trick worm cut in half so it doesn't have that uh, long tail to it so you could like you could kind of walk it a little bit better than a normal size trick worm <sighs> whatever you do just stay away from that smell man 
That is crazy nasty. Okay, and lastly, we've got the Mr. Finesse Intruder X Solo Blade. Willow Solo, Solo Blade, that's fun to say. It's like a, like a Star Wars character or something. This thing is, a, is like a add-on addition that you can use to trick out kind of any plastic that you want to. It looks like it's basically a willow blade that's on a, a swivel and then it's got a, uh, a screw lock on the top of it. So you could screw this into any plastic and give it extra flash action. You could put this on a fluke, you could put it on a Cinco, you could put it on the Bruco right here. In fact, let's let's try that out. Let's, then you've got you've got a little tail spinner on the end. And you get two to a package. So if you wanted to, you could even put one on the front and one on the back, wacky rig it, and then you've got blades on both sides. So there's a number of things you could do uh, with that intruder blade, solo blade, uh, right there and just kind of trick out your, your plastics. Pretty cool. Normally uh, four four dollars and thirty three cents. Um, you get two of those in there, so you can play around, do all sorts of fun stuff with your plastics. Really good in the in the fall or late summer when fish are schooling. You just need like a little uh, f something flashy, something small to get in there uh, to to attract those those fish that are coming up and grabbing bait fish at the surface. So that is the uh, the intruder spin, and that is the last bait in our box. So you've got six baits in this month's box, and they also include something new. I don't remember this last time. A uh, MTB Meet the Team, so you can kind of see uh, who's working up there for you. And we got Tim B. Uh, says his personal best largemouth is seven pounds, and he's got a picture of a, a pike on there. Got, you know, basically like a, a bio on there. It's kind of cool. Let you know who's, who's messing around with your baits before they go in the box. And you can also go to aboutmybox.com. You got a link right there, and you can go check out other videos about the products and see how to use them if you don't trust me, if you don't trust my word. But guys, I am most pleased with the August MTB Pro Box. Uh, amazing box, great hard baits, cool soft plastics. Uh, just, just a great box. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the Lake Fork Guy Fishing TV channel, watching this unboxing. And make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome fishing videos. And if you haven't checked out the MTB channel, go over there and you can see some cool stuff with John B. and KVD right now, duking it out for the fishing competition of extraordinary difficulty. Parody on the Olympics, pretty funny stuff. So make sure you go check that out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all later. As you can see, I've got too many fishing rods right now. I mean, I've got some that are in the packages, some that are brand new, um, some that are old that I've